Hi everyone, it's Mish here, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, uh, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you come back. Um, and if you've been returning, um, I love to see you, and I love your comments. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a page in the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. Um, it is week 44. I am late getting this up. Um, I try to have them up on Sundays, but I've been working so much. Um, and I just got off work a little while ago, and I thought, oh, I'm just going to go chill out. And then I really wanted to get this up uh, today. Um, so I am going to be working in the, the Moleskine journal uh, that I've been working along in um, up to this point. It has gotten um, <laughs> considerably uh, fat. It's got a big alligator mouth. Um, so I, I tried to extend the spine. Um, and that worked to um, an extent, uh, but um, I ended up having to take out the last pages just to finish off uh, the year. Um, so I'm going to be working in this little pullout and then I'll fix it back in uh, later. Um, so the prompts uh, for this week are something found at a grocery store, plaid, um, a paper that has a stain or is stained, a light source, a children's book page or illustration, and bonus is a written measurement. Um, so when I first started to do this, I had a bit of a blank because I was thinking to myself, well, plaid, well, what exactly is plaid? And you know when sometimes when you have a moment where you keep saying a word over and over and it's not really making sense? Uh, well, that's what was happening to me when I was thinking about plaid. Um, so I looked it up, and plaid is basically any kind of pattern um, with two uh, different colors. So I grabbed a bunch of um, papers that I that that were plaid. I had all kinds of stuff here, um, and I ended up uh, kind of liking the, this color combination. Um, so I'm just going to get that down in the background. It's um, it's October. I'm going to leave a little spot in the top of this one. It's October the 30th, um, today, 2023, and it is raining outside right now, but there is a weather statement for um, in Nova Scotia, Canada, for part of the province uh, of snow. Uh, and I was thinking, holy smokes, are you kidding me? But... It's the way of the world, I'm telling you. The weather is just so erratic. So I haven't really had time to sit and plan this all out, so it's gonna end up being what it is for sure. Um, and hopefully um, it'll end up being pleasing. The, one of the things that the, when I first started this challenge was I just wanted to create a book, a collage book, that I could look back um, and just really enjoy looking at the pages. So when I first started the challenge, I was very literal in just sticking to what the prompts were. And then as I got more into a groove, I started to do the collage kind of the way that I would like to, to look at, at it um, later. Um, okay, so that's our, our plaid. Um, so then um, I think we'll go next with just um, some stain, uh, pa paper that's stained or has a stain. So I went through some of my papers and I found this one has lots of stains on it. So we'll get that down in the background. And I do like to try to draw things together into some kind of a theme. Uh, sometimes that's hard. And this one here, the only real theme that I have is that I just liked how it all, the images all played out together. Um, so I have another little page here. I don't know where we should put this. Let's put it there. Um, that again has got some stains there. Um, and then I found another little one here, which I'm going to wait a second. 
um, because the Im one of the images, or no, the light source that I got, um, I did pick out of a children's book. And I think it's just so cute. Um, so, you know, it's the sun, and I'm sure that it's not uh, totally unique. But I like the I liked the image. Um, I think I'll put that maybe kind of like that. Uh, so we'll get this down. I find with me the collage is about balance as well, and making the whole thing kind of seem as one one layout, um, e even though I'm using sort of two different pages. Um, but I really love this little, this little guy. And then on the other side, um, for my illustration, I found this little guy. <laughs> and this reminds me just of my little Chester. So of course I had to use that one. Um, and then, oh, written measurements. So I went around and I found a bunch of labels and things that I had that has different measurements, whether it's uh, just a date or a, a, um, a cost. Um, and I thought I would just kind of get those down and sort of collage around my main images. I wasn't exactly sure. Oh, uh, the other thing that I found, I, I was gonna not put in the something found in a grocery store, but today when I was at work, I had a cup of tea that one of my friends gave me. I wasn't feeling that great. Um, and she um, bought me this tea, which is a, a Manuka honey. It's supposed to be really good for a lot of things like your immune system and, and whatnot. And when I went to take it out of the bag today, I thought, oh, well that might go with my collage. So I thought, well, I'm going to use that. It does smell strongly, I'll tell you that much. Um, it's just a matter, though, of where I think I might want to put it. And the thing is, is um, the way the light is right here, pardon me, I need to, it's, there's a glare because some of this stuff is glossy and I don't have a light that's muted. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, maybe make the collage. No, I think that that needs to go up. I think Chester needs to come up some. Um, I think maybe something like that. And then I'll get the rest of the things down around it. Um, so I'm going to put this down. I'm going to put this down with a little bit of Fabri-Tac because it is um, like a glossy, shiny pa paper. And I find... Um, I just use Elmer's glue for my layouts and um, it doesn't really hold well to like a foil or or uh, something that's kind of glossy. So I think I'll put that maybe kind of there. Okay, and then I'll, I think the, the glue will, will work okay on this, on this um, it's not magazine, but just storybook paper. It is, it is a bit glossy, but I think it'll be okay. And then I'm kind of thinking, I don't want to cover. Yeah, I think that'll be okay, because then you've got a little bit of something at the top and then kind of down towards the bottom as well. Okay, I think that'll be fine. And then I found this little label. It just says, if something's meant to be, it will be. And then there's a date, which is a written measure um, of time. So, kind of like that. And this is a, I think it's a sticker. I found that sometimes it's really hard to get the backs off a sticker, but I found something that really works. It was, um, it was a tip that I got off somebody else. I'm not exactly sure. I think maybe there. Maybe there. Um, it was a tip that I got off somebody else, and that's if you, for me, if I hold it in my left hand and then just roll the lip up with my right thumb, then I generally can separate it 
um, a, a little bit from uh, the backing and then you can pull it off. I find that works a little bit for me. Okay, so this is the first day of issue and then that's the issue number. So we'll put that there. And then I kind of liked this four and a half D. And I was kind of thinking that might go, go kind of there in that corner. So I also have, yeah, I also have a um, stamp there. And on the stamp is a written me uh, measure, which is the cost. The cost of the stamp, which is 50. I don't know what that is. Vietnam. It's a Vietnam stamp. So we'll get that off. So the other thing I wanted to mention is that on November the 1st, on my, I have a playlist of, of cards, which I don't know if I'm going to, my intent was to go right to Christmas with the cards, but I've got so many things right now that I'm trying to get done that I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do, do it until all the way till Christmas. Um, but on that, in that playlist on November the 1st, I'm going to be making a giveaway announcement. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'm hoping to get the video edited um, tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. And if we're getting some nasty weather, I'm not sure if it's supposed to come in tomorrow, Tuesday or Wednesday, but um, I am content just to cozy up here in the house and have a good play in my craft room. Um, but yeah, so I intend to get that up for November 1st. So come on back and check it out if that's something that you're interested in. Um, okay, so I think it's coming together. I'm kind of liking how it looks. And I think we have all our elements. We have our grocery store, we have our plaid, uh, we've got a bunch of stained papers. We have a light source. and an, Oh, and the other thing I wanted to put as a written measure, and maybe I'll leave it off because I wanted to. I forgot about it. And I think if I try to take that up now, it might end up, oh, maybe. So I was kind of thinking of putting this ruler kind of at the bottom, but then it's going to cover up that label unless I run it right. But you know, I don't, I don't really think I need it, but I think it would have been cute. I, you know, I don't really think I need that. So we're going to just put that back down. Um, but the other thing I wanted to do, and I haven't been doing it lately, is I wanted to put today's date. I started out doing it all the time and then kind of forgot. So I always try to stamp off. And again, a date is a measure and maybe put a date there. And then the, I also want it to do, it's a little bit more staining. So I got these and I think I picked them up um, I don't know where, uh, T Timu maybe, or uh, um, Al AliExpress, and it's just a bunch of little coffee stains, like the little rings from the, the coffee stains. So I thought I would uh, just dot a couple around the page just to give it a little bit of, kind of draw it together a little bit more, like a little something up here maybe, and uh, maybe a little stain there and, and down here. Um, so I don't want anything too heavy. Um, I think maybe we'll go try this one. And I don't want to put it in black, so I've pulled out a couple browns, um, and I'm just going to uh, ink it up and then put it down. And I, I do kind of like, you can't really tell, but it's more subtle than, than, um, than black. So I always want to just go stamp off once and then stamp. Oh, that's cute. And then I think we'll do it kind of up in this corner here. Get a little bit of a, a stain there. 
And then I think I will use a different one, maybe this one here. And I'm gonna go maybe a little bit lighter. So this one's here, Sahara Sand. And I'm just gonna stamp off to the side. Oh, I like that one. And then maybe put a little stain there. And then maybe make a little double ring, because I often like the, the little double rings. And then see if we can get a stain up there. And then I just wanted to do um, a couple little ones um, just to make like a little cluster. So I might do that and then I know I used those splotches last week when I did the splotches, but I really liked, I really liked that. Oh yeah, that's cute. I like the stamping parts. I just find it adds a little bit of, a little bit of something, something. And the other thing I've been, uh, just, I've been obsessed with, and I don't know what's going on with me, but is working in my Christmas. Um, I've start, I created a um, Christmas junk journal and that's all I think about. It's kind of like, I just want to work in that. Do you ever get like a project that you're just burning to, to work on? Well, that's that one. So I will be doing a flip through at some point. Um, and which is why I'm thinking that, I just want a little something right there, uh, which is why I'm thinking I won't continue maybe to try to get the cards done, um, is that um, I may just do a couple um, videos on um, the junk journal, my Christmas junk journal. Uh, if you watch the Daphne's diary, it, it's a, it's almost the exact same size. Um, and I've sewn in the signatures. Um, and I, um, I gotta move that over there. I think that's good. I don't want to get it too awful stained up. Um, but I think that we've got what we need to do what we need to do for our thingy. So I'm really glad that you stopped by. Um, if you did like this, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to join my little family. Um, and that's going to be it for today. But don't uh, forget to stop back on Wednesday. Um, and there'll be more details of the giveaway. Um, but until then, I hope you have a safe and healthy week, um, and bye for now.